is Wings of Eagles. It's a 12 inch block. And here is the diagram. I know what you're thinking. This block looks too hard to piece. But you're right, it does look too hard to piece. But I'm going to show you how easy it is and you're gonna just flip when you see it. Here are four put together, four blocks put together. There's not really a grid that I can come up with on this because we're going to put this together in triangle sections. And you'll see that in just a minute. So let's go over the patches. The first patch is a six inch finished trapezoid. And what we're going to do is cut seven and a quarter inches by two inches. Then we'll cut 45 degrees off of each side in these directions. And I will show you how to cut those. We need eight patches and this is the background. Patch B is a two inch finished half square triangle. We cut them two and seven eighth inches, cut it in half once on the diagonal to get two patches and we need four patches. Here are the AccuQuilt dies you can use. All of the AccuQuilt dies are listed here. Patch C is a half square triangle, four inch finished. We'll cut four and seven eighth inch squares, cut it in half once diagonally, and we'll need four patches. So we'll have to cut two squares. Patch D is a quarter square triangle, six inch finished. We cut a seven and one quarter inch square, cut it in half twice on the diagonal, and we get four patches. And that's what we need for this one. And the last patch is E, which is a quarter square triangle, two inch finished. We cut three and a quarter inch squares, cut them in half twice diagonally, and then we get four patches, which is what we need. Here are the sections, and we're, we're gonna go through each one. I wasn't able to put a line around here, so it's kind of hard to see, but this is the A, D, E unit, and this is the A, B, C unit. We're going to piece four of these and four of these, then put them together and they make a square. On the second page, you have complete instructions for how to do it, and you see there's not very many steps here. Let's look at the fabrics I chose. Here is the background, this is patch A, the trapezoid. This is the dark fabric, patch B. This is patch C of the light fabric. And this is patch D of the dark and E of the light. Now I don't have too much contrast in here. If, I would probably do it over again, but I've already cut these up so I'm going with it. Here is one of the squares I've already put together. This is uh, the A, A, E, D unit, and this is the A, B, C unit. Those are patches. You end up with two triangles that you sew together to make a square, then we'll have four of these. Let me show you how to cut this trapezoid. It's the only one that's kind of wonky. We haven't done one of those before. This is a two and a half inch strip, and I've cut it seven and a quarter inches. Then I'm going to take my ruler here with my 45 degree angle. So I'm going to put the 45 degree angle at the bottom of this fabric. So here's the 45 degree angle. It's on the edge of the, bo the bottom of the fabric here. And then over here, I'm going to move this over to the point is right there. You can see that the point of the fabric is the point of the ruler. We have our 45 degree angle is down here. And now we're going to cut this off. So there you have one part of it. Now let's move this over and do this side. Put the 45 degree angle line along the bottom of the piece and put the very tip of the ruler at the very corner of this piece of fabric and then cut this off. And that is your trapezoid. I didn't cut off any, uh, I didn't trim any of the corners on these. I found it was, it was really not needed. So you might want to trim these off if you, after seeing me do it, if you think you might need it, try one and see. So what we're going to do, look at the instructions. This one says we're piecing the A, D, E unit. So we'll take our A, 
patch, which is our trapezoid, and our E patch, which is the small light fabric. So here is my A patch, here's my E patch. We're going to stitch this on like this. You want to center this on the triangle. So I just lift it up, put the triangle at the bottom, and then I look and make sure these triangles are the same size. So I'm going to push this over just a little bit. And when you start stitching, you're going to start here at this point, stitch your quarter of an inch, and end here in this point. Then we're going to do that and press the seam open. Here's what it looks like stitched. So I went from this point, quarter of an inch, all the way to this point, quarter of an inch. Seams pressed open. Now we'll cut off these nubs and move on to the next piece. The next step says we take patch D, which is the large dark patch, and we're going to stitch it onto AE like this. Here is AE and here is D and you want to make a big triangle. Don't try to sew it on like that, that, or like this. That's not a big triangle. <laughs> so sew this on like this, match the top edge here, flip this over, match the top edge and the side here, and stitch a quarter of an inch. Then press your seams open. So now the AED units are finished. Remember, I already have one done, so there's three here. Now we'll go on to the second part where we piece the ABC unit. We'll take the trapezoid and patch B, and we will stitch it on like this. You flip this over, line up this line here, at the long edge of the trapezoid. Just look at the picture and match the picture. So line this, this up and the, this edge here and this is the edge we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch. We're going to do all these three and press the seams open. When you stitch this quarter of an inch, here's your angle again over here and your stitching should come out right at that angle. So when you open them up, this is what it looks like. It's nice straight across the top and the corners come out to a point here. Now just cut off these nubs and these are all these are pressed open so cut off the nubs and we're on to the next step. The next step we're going to take the AB unit we just sewed and our last patch is the C patch and that goes like this. Remember we have our big triangle again so here you're going to line up these edges here when you flip it over. So line up this for this 90 degree angle here. And over here, here is our old friend, this angle, where we're going to come out when we do our quarter of an inch. So let's flip it around here. Start over here with a quarter of an inch. End over here right in the point, a quarter of an inch. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. Here's one stitched, quarter of an inch, then we'll press the seams open like that and cut off the nub. There'll be a little nub right here. Now here are both our, of our units are finished. This is the AED unit and this is the ABC unit. And we're going to put these together like this to make a square. You flip them over and you're going to match all three sides. They should be pretty much the same size, all three sides. When you match these pieces together and you make all, match all three sides evenly, this seam here that you're going to be sewing over, you want to make sure that you line them up because here is Here's what you want. You're sewing this seam here and you want these two pieces to match up at this point here. And how you do that is this is all lined up and here's the seam line going straight down and if you peel this back 
this seam line is going straight down. So you want to just stack these right on top of each other and put a pin in there if you need to and make sure they're stacked right on top of each other and now stitch your quarter of an inch. And then when you press your seams open and cut off your nubs, this is what you'll have. And we'll have four of these. And we have our four units finished. And we take these where we have this corner and those go out on the outside corners and just line them all up with the background fabric pointing out. And there's our block for now. And we'll stitch these two together and these two together, press, and then stitch the two rows together and the block will be finished. Thank you 